Will y'all look at this sweet little egg shelf? I love it. Our friend Sherry, who came out as one of the photographers for the commercial that was shot, um, I mentioned it in our last video. She actually makes these and she sent me one just as a gift and I wanted to share it with you guys because I love it. I think it's so cute and she makes these um, and she has an Etsy shop so I'm going to link that in the description so you guys can check it out and get one of your own if you'd like to. But I just think it's so sweet. Um, if you leave yours on the counter like we do, unwashed, then this is perfect. Just a nice little display. It's beautiful. I love it with our... Um, our background to our tile um, so anyways super cute thank you Sherry so I have an alarm set on my phone every day and it's pretty much my favorite time of the day because I get to walk out here to the greenhouse and check on the babies <laughs> So you might have seen in our last video that we planted a bunch of different herbs and plants for sale. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is that we have some, like one in each one that has germinated and Adam is pretty concerned that these actually aren't <laughs> what we planted, like maybe a seed snuck in there. Um, of a different type of plant because this this does not look like it's supposed to <laughs> so anyways um, we're still waiting and to see uh, the bergamot we have a few little sprouts in there that I think might actually be bergamot um, but I have not seen any of my other herbs really looking super promising yet so we'll see we shall see tomatoes are looking good Adam was a little disappointed that they all didn't germinate like um, or you know we there were several that didn't germinate so um, but Sydney's flowers back there in the back those are looking good. The ones on the left are um, just starting and they're super tiny and those are snapdragons, but the rest of them are looking really good. So she's excited about that. Um, our green stalk, I think, honestly, I think I might be watering some of it too much or we might be watering because I think I'm not the only one watering. <laughs> and they're looking a little drowned right now. So that is probably, just our fault for overwatering. But anyways, it's so fun to come out here and see the babies. Um, I spend a lot of time out here these days and I, I don't know, I feel like those memes on Facebook where you're like, you know, I just planted my seeds and every 10 minutes I go to see if they're germinated yet. And that's really how I feel about these. <laughs> So I just want to update you guys, take you around, show you what we've been working on, what's going on around here right now. Um, my father-in-law's house is still going good. Um, just working uh, on getting the rest of the blocks laid. The brick mason has, or block mason, I'm not sure what you're supposed to refer to him as, has been here um, for the past week or so. Um, just getting that done. I think it's just about finished, or it might be finished at this point. So, um, so that's good.
Adam's been harvesting um, cedar trees that we have lining our property. And uh, so he's taking these over to our friend Johnny's um, to actually saw them into usable lumber. So that's exciting. So a funny thing happened this week. Um, <laughs> this old cow that Adam bought at a sale several months ago uh, surprised us by giving birth this week to this little fella right here. And uh, <laughs> he's so cute. He's doing good. Um, we were completely surprised. Hey, BB. Hi, Jacob. We were completely surprised. Adam and Sydney actually went to go and pick uh, these two big cows, these old cows um, that we bought for just for butcher. Um, pick them up at uh, the other property that we lease, and um, when they got there, this is what they discovered. So it was a big surprise for everybody. So that was a fun surprise. Another fun surprise is that. This fella right here is a father. Yep. Did you know you're a father? Did you know you're a dad now? He didn't know. But he is. And um, so we're excited. The kids have gone to see the puppies. And um, we will be getting one of those puppies probably. So they're real excited about that. Um, we still have our visiting dog also that we're hoping will have puppies um, in the next few months. So lots of exciting things happening around here. Some of them a surprise. <laughs> but um, birth is always a wonderful surprise. So another surprise has uh, come up this week too in the form of an opportunity for us. So I can't really share about it yet, but this is like a little teaser to say that uh, we're very excited about something that has um, that has come up and we hope to be able to share that with you guys in the next little while. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I think that's about all for updates around here. We're just uh, plugging along. Um, I thought January was supposed to be kind of slow. Uh, it's not really turning out to be so slow. It's it's pretty it's pretty fast paced around here but not nearly so as the summer is going to be so just kind of gearing up for that and um kind of trying to prepare mentally for that so uh, we're actually going to try to 
take a little break for a few days and um and just veg out and not do anything just be together as a family and just prepare for the busyness that is coming so hope you guys are having a good week and we'll talk to you soon mm -hmm.